Well, Steve was talking about the plant succession, succession underwater. This everything here, including the underwater environment, was completely scraped clean here 10,000 years ago. So everything's new, and um, it's the same underwater. You'll start with uh, organisms that are small and are going to attach to the bottom, and encrusting organisms like uh, some of your encrusting algae, and then you'll get your kelps coming in and uh, on it will go. We've got a beautiful kelp forest out here now, mature kelp forest, it's a bull kelp. The same thing happens on land. You, as soon as there's uh, the glacier leaves, then they, some of the uh, funguses and the algae will take over. And then as soon as you get a little bit of soil, then you get something, a nitrogen fixer perhaps, like the Sitka alder that line the shoreline here. Uh, that will take the nitrogen out of the air, turn it into organic nitrogen that the plants can use, and then you get the Sitka spruce coming, and then you get the western hemlock. You get this beautiful complex forest that we're looking at. So succession underwater and succession above water.